AI Mentors is brought to you by Aulis International, covering your business's staffing, consulting and networking needs. Our podcast, AI Mentors, hosted by Mark Kelly, brings you the leading minds in AI, sharing their story, their success and their advice. Focusing on fast tracking you to the top, AI Mentors cuts through the hype to help you kickstart your data science career. Welcome to the AI Mentors podcast. I'm your host, Mark Kelly. In today's podcast, we welcome Guk Chan Ingen, Director of Analytics of Blue Apron. Guk Chan has had a varied background working in the likes of HP, Acer, BlackBerry before moving to Blue Apron. Guk Chan is originally from Turkey, made the move via Dubai to live in America. Guk Chan, very welcome to the show today. Uh, I'm very grateful uh, joining this podcast. Uh, thanks for having me. No, delighted to have you. Tell us a little bit about your background in data analytics, data science, because you didn't necessarily come from the most conventional uh, background to come into the world of data analytics and data science. Sure. Um, so my background is uh, mainly on commercial uh, strategy planning. I started my career in uh, product management. I was doing pricing, product positioning, channel performance measurement. Those were all analytical jobs. But in time, I moved more like financial uh, planning side uh, when I was at BlackBerry. Uh, I started in Istanbul office there and then moved to Dubai to manage a, a more regional role. And there I uh, get my hands dirty in forecasting. So for, when you are in forecasting area, you are uh, officially in the data science because forecasting requires a lot of statistical knowledge. Uh, at that time, like uh, 2013, 14, um, we were not using any coding skills there. We were using like ballpark numbers, like uh, Excel sheets. So it was still kind of... Um, not optimizing the forecast but then i wanted to move into more like coding uh, coding skills more uh, deep dive into statistical models and when i moved to uh, us i uh, attended baruch college's certificate program on coding skills and i also improved myself through different uh, resources on statistical models now uh, i have the base uh, basic knowledge to be a data scientist but uh, if you look at my background it's more like still uh, commercial business planning and management and how did you kind of make the move into developing those skills because for a lot of people they don't necessarily always develop those skills to kind of work to their strengths but you seem to be very conscious on the skills you develop but also you made the move to work in a different country Dubai first from Turkey then you came to the states different cultures different environments and so much of the role is in, in data science is, is working uh, within an organization's culture and being able to influence how much mm-hmm. time and effort did you put into developing your, your, your technical skills, but then also developing your people skills for building relationships and influence? Yeah, so um, if you look at my personality, I don't uh, take things as a standard. I always look for uh, better uh, goals, better um, skills. Uh, and I, I'm also very curious. That's why um, I wanted to improve myself uh, constantly. So um, the ballpark numbers or the uh, like high-level Excel sheet skills were not enough for me. I wanted optimization because I know that customers need variety, quality, and speed. And uh, we would like to know our customers uh, in detail. So that required a better skill than what we had at that time. Um, that's why this is uh, the first uh, initiative that I take to improve my technical skills and also for cultural culture variety and uh, trying to uh, understand different departments uh, concerns was also something interesting uh, for me. That's why I wanted to learn uh, every aspect of business management. And while you're actually working to develop your people skills, you're developing your, your kind of coding, your, your kind of your main foundations as well. Tell me how you use predictive analytics skills to help businesses and, and what does it mean to help with demand forecasting, collaborating with others? What kind of impact can you actually have within a business? Sure. I mean, um, 
in most of the organizations, uh, analytics or forecasting or business planning is at the center of uh, dif uh, in the different departments. Um, so I really like that idea. And um, when you do a lot of product uh, expansion analysis, five-year plans, or um, when you automate the tools that the company is using, you see the real big strategic impact there. And this is really enjoyable uh, for me. So for example, at Blue Apron, if we are uh, launching a new product, uh, I'm or my team is at the center of uh, the, pr the product lifecycle uh, management. So we start from market analysis, mar uh, customer segmentation, uh, ROI uh, forecast, and then after the event happens, we measure the performance of the, uh, of the activity. So um, that kind of strategic uh, guidance or being a trusted advisor to the different uh, departments and the C-level of the organization is very critical. Here at Aldis, we want to make the hiring process easier for all. Whether you're an employer or an aspiring employee, we have the service for you. For full-time work, Aldis will partner with you to find the best person for the position. Using both our network and our rigorous qualification process, we ensure that only the best talent is shortlisted. We will manage the process and work with you to select our most suitable candidate for your organisation. We also offer excellent temp hiring services. At Aulis, we provide a great opportunity to help you and our candidate make the right choice. The contract period is one long interview for your full-time opening and the extended experience with our consultant helps you make the best decision. Aldous International is here to quickly help you find the best AI candidate. Our experts stay in close contact with our consultants throughout the duration of the contract, ensuring they have everything they need to get the job done. Was there any main learns that you've had over the last couple of years that kind of shaped how you approach your role now or advice that when you're hiring a data scientist to, to join the team that you kind of got a strong opinion on? Uh, for hiring data scientists, um, it's very critical for a manager. Uh, you, uh, what I'm looking uh, f in order to build my team uh, is uh, not only the technical or coding skills. My uh, data scientists in my team are uh, really experts on explaining uh, technical data to a non-technical audience in the organization. Uh, they are really the uh, real business partners to different department heads. So good interpersonal skills, good presentation skills are also important uh, on top of the good coding skills. Uh, also, I would like to hire people that are initiative taker and self-driven. Uh, so they, they set their goals and they, they start their own projects and manage it end to end. So this is how we are uh, improving the processes uh, at Blue Apron. And how do you feel that uh, people developing their personal skills to deal with different stakeholders and having empathy, the importance of open questions and not assuming anything and trying to figure out the right problem to solve that's going to have real impact? Do you ever offer any advice on that area? Sure. Um, I mean, first, your numbers should uh, build some trust in different stakeholders. Uh, if you constantly forecast wrong number or give them wrong guidance on the activities they, they, they plan, uh, you lose credibility. So uh, after you build that trust, after you do your job really good, the trust or uh, communication or good relationships are uh, coming naturally. So, uh, but still uh, you need to understand your customer, I mean, different departments that we are serving as analytics uh, are, are kind of internal customers. So you need to understand the customer's needs, uh, what, what are their challenges and try to uh, come up with the solutions. So being a good partner requires a lot of uh, deep dive knowledge, technical skills and personal skills. Can you share some examples of where throughout your career you've, you've had data science 
and analytics have really ultimately helped the customer experience in terms of when I always think of Netflix, I think of the recommendation engines that give a more personalized choice. When I think of propensity models, they're always very good for increasing sales or customer lifetime value examples to try to really understand the customer that you're, you're working with day to day so you can actually provide better services to them. Any examples come to mind for yourself? Sure, I can give an example from Blue Apron. So uh, during Thanksgiving, uh, during the year, um, it is very low season uh, period for all of the meal kit companies uh, in the industry because in the US, uh, people are traveling to their mom's places or friends' places. So it's very travel driven and uh, it lasts long, like two weeks. Uh, So we were losing uh, kind of uh, like business during that period because we were serving the main meals uh, to the customers. But then uh, we, our product teams came up with the idea to provide some side dishes during this period rather than providing main dishes because people are, were not cooking. They were going to different places and eating their uh, mom's or friend's food uh, during that period. So we came up came up with the idea of uh, launching the desserts during that period as a new product but uh, we didn't know the market size or how the customers would react so analytics owned the project from end to end we just did the market sizing we um, came up with the previous surveys uh, and tried to understand the customers interest on uh, dessert product and then after uh, we came up with the uh, forecast of uh, that product, we launched it and then we measured how we uh, performed. Uh, and it was really uh, surprising to me as well to see good results. So that's a good product launch uh, support. Uh, in there's, lot, there's, there's a lot of empathy in that because you're kind of thinking about the customer's shoes because mm-hmm. you're not necessarily yeah. going to come to the dinner table with pre-prepared meals because that's going to be very insulting to the host that you're going yeah. to but a side dish everybody wants to bring something nice as a dessert or a starter for example exactly so that was the idea that was the main uh, main solution to this thanksgiving problem that we had and it worked uh, that was really uh, but it it would go uh, all the way other all the way to the left uh, if we give really wrong forecast we would end up with high inventory if nobody wanted that. So uh, the analytics uh, magic worked there. Yeah, so it's a real it's a real tightrope. I'm trying to get it correct. So one of my final questions is: is for a lot of data science managers, they try to manage data science analytics teams like you would do with an engineering team. And they're, not, they're quite different in terms of because of the research elements uh, that people are actually working on as well. But it is important to generate some type of uh, ROI or KPIs that there's certain outcomes from the type of work that, that's done. What advice would you offer to kind of either building out a small team or managing that team to try to get a uh, return on investment, particularly with the nature of research that can take quite a while to generate a uh, return? Yeah, especially at Blue Apron, we are very lucky because we are working with uh, machine learning uh, tools. My team does not own that. We are more like on the uh, strategy side and try to gather some information to machine learning to run uh, the numbers there. Um, So when you use machine learning tools, you understand your customer better, like at the individual level. What do they like? What uh, what allergies do they have, um, etc. And at what time of the year do they order? We are go- we are able to go do the deep dive analysis with our tools. So I recommend um, uh, all of the data scientists uh, in the organizations to develop these kinds of uh, tools or automated systems that would allow them to do uh, that kind of. Uh, customer segmentation and uh, customer understanding Uh, after that after you understand your customer needs it's very easy to calculate the ROIs You've been listening to the AI Mentors podcast. Our guest today has been Gukchan Ikent, Director of Analytics at Blue Apron. Gukchan, thank you very much for your time today. 
Thanks for the opportunity to give, uh, give back to the data scientist community. Get the Aldus advantage. Become a member of the Aldus community and enjoy some of the following. AI meetups. Once a month, our community gathers to listen to some of the leading experts in the world of data science and AI. Our speakers come from all over the world, including Dublin, Boston and Frankfurt. We also have our AI mentors. Our experts will provide mentoring to all us members. And don't forget our AI in Action podcast. Each week, we have guests from all over the world talking us through their education, career and more. Become an Aldus member and get the Aldus advantage. For more information and to sign up for our newsletter, log on to www.aldus.com. That's www.aldus.com. Aldus International, empowering through AI.